135 today is good for standing out. You can get this guy with some backlit smoke coming through. And I've also just picked up a leaf. Depth in photographs is a nice way to sort of make things a bit more um, interesting. So, look. Good evening, guys. We are back for another pod. Can't say it's quite evening yet. The sun will be setting in the next hour or two. So, have um, decided to jump out, do a quick pod for you guys. We are in Islington. As you can see, it has been raining but we have had some blue sky come out in the last hour so it's going to be good we're going to get some beautiful golden light coming through some reflections and um just a good time to be out embrace the fresh air and um sort of see what's about so i thought i'd come down to um islington green which is in london and um just sort of see what we can capture inside the park here um some beautiful winter trees going on do have um the 135 today on the 5d mark 4 canon um which is a lens that i've borrowed from dave and um just so we can sort of see what we can get with a longer fixed lens and um just sort of play around a bit so um let's chuck you on the rig and um get cracking ew yellow and yellow color block So it's been sort of a busy week for us heading in. We are moving in the next few days. So it's um, lots has been happening and sort of um, organizing on that front and um, making the most of it with these last um, few days at our current place. Just sort of seeing what sort of light we want to get at the moment. So let's turn the camera on. All right. Got some beautiful golden light on the back. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to frame it if I want to capture um, these grates or not. Let's get this coffee guy. So what I'm looking at here is the reflection of the light on the back of the um, coffee machine. You can see that as a highlight, and we sort of. <laughs> and we'll wait for that steam to come through get the steam back lit might have to move around for that but I'm sort of just waiting for some coffee action here there we go and then we'll wait for that steam to come through again um yeah i'm filming a youtube um sort of tutorial at the moment so um just on a 135 and get some backlit shots and Fantastic. yeah uh, you've got um a little domain name domain name um yeah so everything's under forever scene oh, kind of a look so um the instagram or youtube or however you want to find I'll it i'll find so, you on yeah. youtube so that's where it's going to go yeah yeah do you want to subscribe yeah like. subscribe turn the notifications on yeah, all that sort of jazz um it is forever f-o-r-e-v-e-r uh one r yeah seen s-e-e-n s-e-e-n yeah that's scene. it yeah it should be one then word is that, is that how you say it you i'm very new to all this yeah 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 that's me jump on have I'm a look in. You're in. Five nine nine subscribers. <laughs> You'll be my six hundred. Here you go. High five. Happy about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm very excited. Check out this band. Not how I expected. Yeah. Because it's not littered in pigeons anymore. Is that why? No. Yeah. Not many people know about that. I only pigeons learned that used recently. To be super pigeon place. Yeah. Indeed. But apparently they spent a lot of money to get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, I I mean, I was never there when the pigeons were there. Was it that bad or not? Look though, remember like all the pigeons? Yeah, hundred percent. Tourists would go there and make sure they had the pigeons all over their shoulders and. It's, it's so like, cool, you know, like, yeah. No high yes. five is is complete these days without it. Got a little. No, well, it's just like all the um, because I'm point, I'm the focus point, like Luke was. Except yeah. Luke didn't get sick from here. Luke went out, as a naughty boy did, went out to a pub on a Friday night. Oh, after lockdown. And got all oh. up close and personal people in pubs who he doesn't associate with. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say on the news. Like that's exactly what they say not to do. Don't do that. <laughs> the There's always a rebellious crew, problem. isn't there? That's it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Now look at him. Can't taste shit. So the only thing you can taste is Marmite. What? You can't it. taste. Oh, that's fucking. Okay. Or at least he gets Marmite in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think you know, I have a Vegemite girl though. I was going to say, I was going to say, I have But they're both fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah. He's ruined Christmas. <laughs> he's ruined Christmas <laughs> because Funny. he's only going to be allowed out on Christmas Day. Yeah, and it's... by that time, he can't get anywhere because there's no public transport. <laughs> So. It's an interesting society we live in at the moment, isn't it? What's your name, Matt? Lee. Lee? Melissa. Melissa, lovely to meet you too. You too. I'm going to crack on. Keep enjoying. See you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, easily got this stuff here all day. Um, what we might do here is there's this really cute little kid. Um, I wonder if we can capture him as he's turning around. A bit of sunlight in the fur, but we kind of miss the sunlight in the park now, so we might have to go for a Kind of a different vibe. Get through the dirt. Let's see what we can get up here. So there's some nice leading lines through here. Sort of play around. Oh, this guy's getting up. So, what's cool about the long lens is that you can capture things from a distance. Sort of people in their own environment, sort of doing what they um, naturally would do. This light is really flat now. This guy's catching me. <laughs> While I'm looking, look at this guy as well. He's sort of in his own world. Beautiful light behind him, the grey jacket. Really suits the um, environment behind him. So he's probably... <whistles> not necessarily... Things get a little bit more lively. Is he going to turn around? There you go. Gets one. One pop. Sometimes you just got to wait for the shot and sort of see what you can get. <clears throat> it's quite slippery around here. So, 600 subscribers. Pretty cool. Like, considering I only started this at sort of the start of lockdown and sort of um, just playing around, pushing myself into a realm I've never even considered doing before. Um, let's get something up here with the 135. I haven't necessarily done three shots with a 135. This is nice. Um, it's been a really cool experience and sort of just getting out there, meeting people like Lee and um, just embracing different conversations and um, now having done it in not only um, London, Barcelona and New York. It's um, been a good experience of pushing myself into new realms and trying to, um, I guess, discover things that I normally wouldn't put myself through. So let's see if we can get this guy with some backlit smoke coming through. And I've also just picked up a leaf in order to capture a bit more detail in the foreground, just to give it that depth. So he is looking in the opposite direction, but that's all right. Let's see if we can get these girls as well. Oh. Might go more of an angle, just to give it that depth as well. I think they know I'm looking. That's all right. So simple things like um, picking up a leaf just to um, give it that depth and play around with a different angle is, um, love the hat man, <laughs> it's great. Um, it enables you to sort of give more depth into your photographs which is something that really just gives more attention to um, detail and makes it more of a photographic element rather than sort of um, a 2D sort of shot. So creating depth in photographs is a nice way to sort of make things a bit more um, interesting. So looking at depth, looking at um, symmetry, be it in lines, be it in curves, um, you can have contrast between lines and curves 
Um, you can see here you've got straight lines and a circular one. Um, and if you blow out the background, it might be a bit, yeah, I'm too, too um, long on the old 135 here. So if I pull back, sort of give you an example, I think this will be quite nice in black and white as well. But we tee it up. Hey, so I'll do a shot while they're there. But if we tee it up, so um, the symmetry is either front, back, bang in the middle. Depends how you want it. Can also get someone in the background, but I'm just waiting for it to clear front and back. If I can't get it to clear, I'll get these guys in the middle. So, flat light isn't necessarily um, too appealing for me. I enjoy more of a um, contrast sort of vibe and sort of a, a bit more extremities and the light and dark range. It sort of just adds more elements to me. So, <clears throat> let's get these guys. They're having a coffee. And using the leaf as well I know she knows I'm here so I'm just sort of waiting for her to um, using the leaf as well sort of allows you to blur out a lot of the um, areas that are quite messy and that you wouldn't necessarily want in a photograph so yes you can use um... <laughs> looks great thank you <laughs> Um, yes, you can use a leaf, but using trees as well to also give more of a depth and um, uh, blurring out areas that you don't necessarily want as well is a good way to do it. So, 135 today is good for standing out and not interacting too much with people, but we will get a um, portrait shot while we're in here as well, just so that we um, have kind of a realm of things. So. See what else we can get. Uh, apart from that. So I like this lens a lot just because the compression is really, really nice. I think if we pull back, take a shot of something, someone, You'll be able to see how nice the compression really is for the distance. So, just trying to think what would be something worthwhile here. Doesn't have to be a person, like even just using this uh, would be cool, but these kids are about to have a, a spit fight. Doesn't want me in the shot which is fair enough um, but you can also use um, where are we so I'm going to focus on the foreground and have these lights as bokeh uh, I don't think we've got the distance we need Should get one sharp anyway not too inspired in here let's go for a walk So a bit of a crossing field here with the 135 we can um, sort of tuck down and wait for people to cross over as well so using that foreground element and background element. If there's anything interesting let's cross over.
is a greenery on the right. Again, to create some of that depth. Backlighting as well from the cars, which is kind of cool. Oh, you can't see too much here, but just give you a bit of a gauge for anyone interested in coming along. You know. Wondering what I'm doing in here. Who else have we got? Backlighting here from the vehicles. Oh, bit of a chilly one today. Hasn't been too bad. There was a nice snow dumping in New York this week, which um, a lot of my friends have been making me rather jealous over but I'm looking forward to getting back to New York we are heading there sort of every time so it's all booked and done and a couple trips in between so things are happening and kind of just going along with the flow of it so it will be exciting to take you back here and especially now that I've had a bit more experience doing these ponds and things like that and um, just with the travel side of things as well like with the um, Tuesday's video is going to be Barcelona which I'm really excited to share with you guys it was such an incredible trip and um, my first time there and just um, it's going to be more of that cinematic realm so I'm really excited to share it and hear your feedback and um, just as things get um, ramping up into the new year it's going to be quite exciting I've got some cool videos coming and sort of planning to do um, always do two pods a week this is the plan for next year two pods a week and um, aiming for a cinematic one a week as well so stay tuned guys there's going to be a lot of um, cool things coming and um, just a bit more structure you know once the move is complete and um, we've got a few things that are tying up on the scene but once all that's done the balance will be in check and um, we'll have some more sweet things coming your way all right guys enjoy like and subscribe Yee!